Grade 3 Math, number 85, Time and Minutes. We've been talking about telling time for the last couple videos. I want to remind you that the shorthand tells you the hours and the longhand tells you the minutes. Okay? So now we're going to talk about minutes. There's two different types of clocks. There's a clock that plugs into the wall, and it's electric, and it's a digital clock. And it tells you the time exactly as we read it. 3.30. And it might even have a little a.m. or p.m. to tell you if it's afternoon or morning off on the corner. Sometimes it'll just have a little dot to tell you that it's p.m. This analog clock is the one that we've been learning. And this one also says it's 3.30 because the hour hand, the short hand, is in between the 3 and the 4. And if you remember from our previous video, we choose the smaller number, the 3. And then the minute hand is pointing to the 6, and by counting by 5s, the 6 is 30, so it's 3.30. So that's what we're going to talk about, all the minutes that are in between these numbers here, okay? So let's go over this real quick before we look at our clock with all of its minutes. Look at that. Look at all these minutes that are going around. One day is 24 hours. That means the hour hand of the clock has to go around two whole times around this clock every day. One hour is 60 minutes. You can see on the clock I've drawn, the 12 is 0, and then here's the 30, like we did over here. It was 3.30, because you skip count 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. But there's little minutes in between all the fives that we skip counted. So, each of these big numbers, 1 through 12, stands for 5 minutes, and you can skip count by fives and then add each minute to get the exact time. So, if the hour hand is pointing close to the 1 and the long minute hand is pointing to the 4, it's 120, like this, 120. But if the, uh, if the minute hand is moved, Let's move the minute hand to here. It's now 122. So what you can do is say it's 1. We know the 1 for the hour. And then it's 5, 10, 15, 20, 21, 22. You don't need to count every minute to skip count and then go and add two more. So it would be 22. If it was pointing over here, we could skip count to the 50 and then add the one or two that we needed, see? So just skip count by fives and then add each minute to go to the exact time, okay? Now, some people talk about half past and half hour and quarter hour and quarter past, and we're going to talk about that in the next video. That's kind of like slang clock talk. Instead of being exact with the minutes, they just use a quick slang way of saying what time it is. Let's check that out. I'll see you there.